Yeah. Mary, very nice to meet you. Thank you for your time nice today. Nice to meet you too. Um, when you read a script like this, is, do you just say yes straight away? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I, I wanted to talk to Dan Trachtenberg, the directors, as well as JJ, and just make sure we were all on the same page and that it was the kind of film that I thought it was. And, and as soon as I had a conversation with them, I was just so on board and so excited to, to be a part of it. Awesome. And your character, I mean, she's amazing. She goes through so many different emotions. What yes. was that like to tap into? And what was it like on set, the atmosphere? Because it was such a tight-knit cast right. with yeah. just the three of you. Yeah, um, it, it was. It was, I mean, if you're going to be stuck in a bunker with anybody, I think John Goodman and John Gallagher Jr. are the, the two best candidates <laughs> for me personally. Because they're so lovely, so great to work with. Um, and just such good people and very relaxed and easygoing, which I think in that environment is what you want because when the cameras were rolling, it was so tense and intense and uh, emotionally and physically draining a lot of days. Um, so I felt very lucky to be with, with people like that. And the set, um, what was it like? Was it claustrophobic, like it feels on screen, or was it actually just a big warehouse with it? It was kind of a big warehouse, yeah. It was the big you set, and we had, you know, each room was its own set kind of thing, and, and the walls were not completely closed in, so there was always, you know, even it, look, it looks like this small, tight space, but in reality there's one wall that's totally open, and it's, you know, very, very spacious. So, so yeah, that's all movie magic, I would say. That was good. Um, and Cloverfield, there's just the name when people hear it. There's so much hype around it and all of the viral stuff that goes on as well. Right. What does it feel like to be part of that that um, franchise, I guess? It feels so cool. I mean, it, it, it's great to be a part of something that people are curious about, you know, and that they, they want to know what's going on and how it's connected and or how it's not connected. And uh, it's really exciting just to, to know that this movie is really cool and that people are, are going to see it and enjoy the ride, you know. And your career choices, I love them because they're you do a lot of indie stuff, but you do yeah. a lot of the big stuff too. How do you pick these roles? How do you choose which ones to do? I, I guess I tend to go after first and foremost for me it's it's usually the role just because even if something is a, is a good script and it's good people involved if it's kind of if it's a role where it's like I'm very passive and I'm not doing anything interesting it's it's hard for me to kind of get on board so I get really excited when I read a role like this where I'm I just get to run the gamut of everything that I can do really and, and that's so much fun for me and then the added bonus of getting to work with the coolest people in the industry, you know, really like J.J. Abrams and, and John Goodman and John Gallagher Jr. and Dan Trachtenberg, who, you know, this is his first film, but he's so talented um, and was so excited to get to, to be on this ride with him. So there was just so many, so many elements. Had you seen Porter and some of the other shorts that... I hadn't. I mean, I did as soon as I, I before I met with him, I watched it and, and thought it was just so well done and, and kind of amazing for someone who, you know, was straight out of the gate. Um, so I was really excited to see what he would do with this. Mm. And if it, the music in the movie is so great, well, yeah. if you could take one track uh, or one album down into the bunker with you, what would you take? One album? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. It was um, nice you had a big jukebox, I guess. So you, I know, you just... yeah, a mix, mix of everything. I'm so, like, music is so, such a big thing for me, and there's so many, um, so many albums, and I kind of go through phases of things I'm obsessed with. Right now, I'm kind of obsessed with Charlotte Gainsbourg, but I think that maybe would be a little too moody for, <laughs> for being stuck in a bunker. Might get a little sad. So maybe something more like, you know, like the Shangri-Las or something, keep things a little uplifted. Yeah, and what have you got coming up after this? Now? Um, I just started this week, I just started shooting a TV show called Brain Dead um, for CBS, which is from the creators of The Good Wife. And it's kind of a political satire about aliens in Washington, DC. Um, so it's, it's another sort of um, fantastical, but yet very real <laughs> kind of story. Yeah, and you mentioned working with Dan and just how talented he is. What was it like with him on set? Because I can only imagine as a first feature, it must be quite daunting for him, but what was he like as a director? He was so, you know, alert and present and like he had done it so many times. You know, I was really impressed by how relaxed he was on set and easygoing and I mean, I can't imagine the kind of pressure it would be for, for this to be your first film, um, but you would never have known it. He was just like very assured, knew exactly what he wanted, um, and also just very, very kind and, and so lovely to work with. So I hope, I hope we get the chance to do it again. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned how the chemistry with John and John, what, what was John Goodman like? Because he, 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 his character was so, like yours was up and down with regards to emotion. His was just sort of comical or, or not. Right. What was it like with him on set and the, that? He's, I mean, he's everything that you hope he would be as someone who grew up watching him in so many movies and he's just such a legend and so iconic. So he is that lovable, 
John Goodman that, that we all know. And in this role, he gets to be something else entirely. So it was a little bit surreal watching this, you know, actor that I, I love so dearly be so intimidating and creepy. Um, but he does it so well. Brilliant. Well, I love the film. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!